Hello everyone, welcome to new section. In this section, we are going to talk about COVID-19 exploratory data analysis. The first I'll tell you about the data understanding, then we will import the necessary packages and then we will prepare the data so that we can start with the plotting of these data. And the first plot we will do with worldwide COVID cases with the date and how it is increasing and then we are going to see it with the time lapse and apart from that we will be also talking about the area plots of these cases and then again on the maps with the heat maps and with the static maps images. All these plots are interactive plots that's when we can zoom in and then we can also zoom out to all these plots whenever you want. And then we will be talking about the new cases and deaths, confirmed cases, active cases, death per 100 cases and all other parameters, whatever you can think about the COVID uh, visualization. Then we will be talking about the scatter plot and then we will move to the bar plot. All right, so let's go ahead and run these plots in the runtime as well. These plots makes my computer a little slow. That is why I had not uh, the plotted these plot earlier. Now it might take a little time, but you will see there we will be having a bar plot and these plots will be the, uh, the plotted against all these countries. These plots could be a memory, consum uh, memory consuming plots and uh, these plots might eat up all the memory available in your computer. Although then we will move it to the line plot and in this line plot then um, we'll talk about how these cases are increasing day by day basis and then we will talk about the growth rate after the 100 cases and then after the 1000 cases then 10,000 cases and then we will also talk about growth rate after 100,000 cases. And then you can also control these cases one by one and you can see how it is uh, increasing. And then finally we will see about the tree map analysis and uh, then confirmed cases, death cases. Then we will talk about the first and last reported case. That's mean total time lapse between the first and the last cases. And then we will talk about the confirmed cases, country and device analysis. And then we will be seeing here all those countries which have at least 10,000 data. I mean 10,000 confirmed cases. And uh, after that we have here a huge list and then we will talk about COVID-19 versus other similar epidemics. And there we have SARS, MERS, Ebola, H1N1 and COVID-19 with the confirmed cases, death cases and mortality rate. So this is going to be very interesting lesson. I'll see you in next lesson where we, where we will get started working on these files.